Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today you're going to be reviewing a JC Wings Guitar Airways Boeing Triple Seven 300 ER in the FC Barcelona livery in a 1-200 scale model. This is my second Qatar Airways Triple Seven 300 ER model. I did the one from Gemini Jazz not about me about about five six months ago. Done pretty good. But uh, I purchased this model from Choice Toys, based out of Olden Park, Kansas. His website is www.choicetoysinc.com. Sad to tell you, folks, this was the only model he ordered for me. And at the time of this video review, this model is becoming very scarce and hard to find right now. Your only outside chance of getting this model is through eBay, if you can find it there. Anyway, let me give you some heads up information about Qatar Airways that you need to know about. Qatar Airways was founded and established on November 22, 1993 and commenced operations on January 20, 1994. Qatar Airways is fully owned by the Qatari government and has been fully controlled by the government of Qatar since July 2013 after the country's sovereign fund bought a 50% stake from Qatar former Prime Minister Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim al Thani and other shareholders. The headquarters of Qatar Airways is located in the Qatar Airways Tower located in Doha, Qatar, while the airline's main base of operations is located on the grounds of the Hamad International Airport, which is located approximately 12 miles southeast of the downtown city center of Doha, Qatar. The airline operates a hub and spoke network, linking to over 150 international destinations across Africa, Central Asia, Europe, the Far East, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, North America, South America, and Oceania from its base at Hamad International Airport using a fleet of more than 180 aircraft. Qatar Airways is the official state-owned national flag carrier for the country of Qatar. As of 2016, Qatar Airways is one of nine carriers to earn this prestigious honor of maintaining a five-star rating according to the international airline review firm Skytrack Magazine. Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Singapore Airlines, based out of Singapore, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Hanan Airlines, based out of Beijing, China, Garudo, Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, and Etihad Airways, based out of Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, are the other carriers to maintain this honor. Now, with that said, Here's the box you're looking at, the Qatar Airways title, the Qatar logo, the computer generated uh, image of the aircraft, the aircraft model, the FCB, the Football Club Barcelona emblem, and the slogan that says, a team that unites the world. I'll get into details of all that in a moment. And then there's the scale model information. Okay, folks, now you're looking at the top of the box, you see the aircraft type. The football club Barcelona emblem, the slogan, the Qatar Airways title, the Arabic writing, the Qatar logo, and the model scale information right there. Okay, this is the uh, bottom of the box, same information you see at the top of the box that I showed you previously, okay? Okay, folks, this is the model stand that came with the model. You see here, that little black pattern right there which means it prevents your model from being scratched or damaged when you put it on the model stand. You're going to worry about that part. And then you come to plaque right here on the model stand, something J.C. Wings has been doing since 2013. And then there's the Qatar logo, the Qatar titles, the aircraft type, and the model scale type information on the plaque as well. Okay, and this little plastic bag is here. Those are the gear replacements you see there with the two little toothpicks. I will go into details about these gear replacements and the purpose of these later on in my review. Stay tuned for that part, okay? Okay, the information about Qatar Airways, how they got established, the box and all the details on the box, the boxing, the model stand, and the gear replacements. With no further ado, folks, here is the model. There it is, folks, the JC Wings Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER and the FC Barcelona Livery in a 1-200 scale model. Let me give you some heads up uh, information about there's two types of liveries on here. I'm going to start with the original Qatar livery, which would be this one. This livery was unveiled on March 8th, 
2006 at the International Tourism Borsi Berlin Travel Convention in Berlin, Germany. And even though this livery is only 10 years old, it has already become one of the most recognized liveries in the airline industry today. And then we talk about the FC Barcelona livery, which is the rear part of the future law, which is all this right here. Qatar Airways and FC Barcelona took their partnership to the skies as the airline unveiled the FC Barcelona livery for the first time on one of their Boeing 777-300ER aircraft, which bared the registration ship number A7-BAE, that's this right here, on February 18, 2014. The aircraft which features a distinctive Barca Scarlet and Blue, uh, Blagrana, as it is known for, was these right here. And Catalan with the club's crest and the slogan, a team that unites the world, right here, I'll get into that momentarily, was sent to Dublin, Ireland, where it mm -hmm. took a team one week to hand paint the custom-made design onto the aircraft using an airbrush. The team produced a shading effect to help create the illusion of the Barker flag, which is here, moving as the aircraft takes to the skies. Additional stenciling was used for the text as well as the football's crest, which sits on the aircraft, which is that right there. Qatar Airways actually revealed the renderings of this aircraft's tailor-made design at a press conference in Barcelona, Spain in 2013. The introduction of the FC Barcelona livery alongside the Qatar Airways Oryx logo, which is here on the tail, further cements the airline's commitment to the partnership as well as their loyalty as Barker fans. Qatar Airways and FC Barcelona have been fostering a successful partnership since it was officially commenced in July 2013. So, with all that information out of the way, about Qatar Airways and FC Barcelona, how they came together and how this livery came about on this aircraft, Allow me to get down and show you all the details of this aircraft. I'll bring it even more close. Show it. Okay. We're going to start on the port side of the aircraft. Better known as the left side of the aircraft where you see the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers. I'll show you a better visual view of those uh, later on in the review. Stay tuned for that part. And then there's the nose cone right there. And then there's the Arabic writing right there. Um... I don't know what that is right there, folks. If somebody can tell me what that is in Arabic, I'll truly appreciate it. I try to contact Qatar Airways. I haven't heard nothing from them yet. So, and then there's the um, nose gear doors right here with the partial registration number. And then there's the nose gears right there. Okay. I'm going to bring this aircraft up a little closer. No, man. I'm going to keep it right there. Okay. And then you see this little blue dot here right above the L1 entrance door. This is the One World logo is that called. Qatar Airways became a member of the One World Alliance on October 30th, 2013, which consists of 15 airline members from six inhabited continents, becoming the first golf carrier to sign with one of the three alliances. And then you see the Qatar billboard title right here across the Future Lodge. And then you come over here. Right here, the Arabic writing beside the Qatar title. That means... The word al Qataria, al Qataria, al Qataria. Either way, it sounds good. That's that's what it means in Arabic, right there, folks. And then you come right here, the inboard landing light right here on the edge of the uh, wing, right there as well. Okay, continuing on on the port side of this aircraft, where you see these big massive en massive engines right there, featuring the engine nose cone right, the engine cone right there. These are the German Electra GE90 115B1 engines that Qatar Airways uses on this particular Boeing 777-300ER aircraft. And it's very detailed there right as well, okay? Now I'm going to turn it to the front angle and let you see the engines from the front angle and the fan blades to spin, folks. Check it out. Okay, now you got a visual, front visual view of these engines here featuring the engine strike. As I mentioned earlier, the fan blades do spin there. Very impressive. And then you got a better visual view of the inboard landing light right there, okay? Now we're on the starboard side where you got a better visual view of the inboard landing light and the engine strike here on this engine and the fan blades over here spin as well. Okay. Now I'm going to take and let you see the whole aircraft from the front view angle. Here it is, folks. Okay, now you got a front 
angled view of this aircraft featuring a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers right there, the nose cone, the nose gear featuring the nose gear light, see about right there, the nose gear doors, and the engines on the star, uh, the starboard side as well as the port side over here as well. All right, so with that out of the way, I'm going to take it back to the port side because there's more information to share with you over there, okay? Here we go. Okay, now it's back on the uh, port side, on the engine side, where you see the uh, the Qatar logo displayed on the engine as well as the tail. See? Qatar Airways has an Oryx, which is the national animal of the state of Qatar as its logo. If you don't know what an Oryx is, it's an Arabian uh, gazelle. That's what an Oryx is, folks, all right? And that is their national animal for that country, Okay. Okay, we're back on the port side. Behind the end, you see these triple bogey gears on the port side as well as the uh, starboard side over there as well. I'll show you a better visual view of those wheels on the other side, featuring the realistic structure right there as well. All right, you're looking at the rake wingtips here on the port side, featuring the red navigation light, featuring the strobe light here as well on the end of the edge of the uh, rake wingtip. Now we're looking at the Barker flag draped in uh, red and blue. You know, they did 20 types of blues and 20 types of red to make this flag, its colors on this aircraft. And then you're looking at the uh, FCB uh, crest emblem. This is the emblem of the FC Barcelona Barker team that was remodified and redesigned in 2002 by Catalan design, Claire Sarah Hema. That's who designed the uh, remodified and redesigned his, uh, their emblem, okay? Pretty neat right there, okay? And then you come over here, folks. See that slogan there? The slogan, a team that unites the world. The message pretty much says it all, that when you have an exceptional powerhouse airline like Qatar Airways come together with an exceptional powerhouse football team like the Barkers, together as a win-win team, they unite the world as one. It's just another way that Qatar Airways and FC Barcelona are able to demonstrate the strong partnership between the two organizations. Okay. All right. This right here, that is the Qatari flag right there, folks. And this flag represents the country where Qatar Airways operates from as the state-owned national flag carrier for the state of Qatar. Okay. And then we come down here. Registration ship number. A7-BAE Registration ship number A7-BAE This is the 6 of 34 Boeing 777-300ERs to enter the fleet of Qatar Airways and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on February 23, 2009 and was delivered to Qatar Airways on March 4, 2009 Qatar Airways has ordered a total of 34 Boeing 777-300ERs to add to their fleet and all of the airline's 34 Boeing 777-300ERs are currently operating in service. Then on October 7, 2016, Qatar Airways announced a firm order for an additional 10 Boeing 777-300ERs to add to their fleet, which will bring the airline's total to 44. And those aircraft are on back order and are awaiting delivery at the time of this video review. As of 2016, Qatar Airways currently is the fourth largest operator of the Boeing 777-300ER after Dubai-based Emirates, Hong Kong-based Cathay Pacific, and Paris-based Air France, respectively. Okay. Okay, now we're looking at the tail here. I told you what that was. That was the Oryx. That's their logo, which is a Raven Gazelle. That's what I told you earlier. It has painted in gray and all that good stuff. Very detailed right there. All right. Now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft where you see the APU, the uh, gel ray power uh, unit hole right here, the APU exhaust hole right there. And then there's the uh, blue strobe light below the APU, the gel ray power unit hole right there. Right there, there's no hole there. It's a hole there, but there ain't no hole there. You get what I'm saying? All right. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft and let you see the aircraft from the rear view angle. So here it is, folks. All right, there it is. The Qatar Airways 777-300ER and the FC Barcelona livery from the rear view angle. Okay. Okay, now we're on the starboard side of this aircraft where you see the cockpit windows. 
the Arabic writing underneath the uh, cockpit window. I have no idea what that is. Somebody can inform me about that. I truly appreciate it, as I mentioned earlier. There's the Qatar billboard tire across the future lots. There's the Arabic uh, writing, as I mentioned earlier, Al Qataria, Al Qataria. And then you see the uh, front cargo container door right here. There's the inboard landing light. You see the GE 9115B engines right here on the side featuring the Qatar logo here on the engine. And then you see the bogey gears here on the uh, starboard side right here. Very detailed the struts right there. All right, now you're looking at the rake wing tips on the starboard side, the green navigation light right there, and then there's the strobe light on the edge of the rake wing tip on there as well. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft on the starboard side where you see the uh, the Barker flag draped right here across the back part of the fuselage. You see the FCB, the Football Club Barcelona Crest emblem right here, the slogan, the team that unites the world, the registration number, the Qatari flag, the rear cargo container door, the boat bin door, and the Qatar logo here displayed on here on the tail as well. Okay. Okay, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft and the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft, there's some features here. This model does roll barely. Now, did not get a knot, yeah, but the gears do tilt, so that's a plus there. So that's a good thing there. The only flaw on this model is the gears. I wish Gemini Jess and JC Wings go ahead and address that issue. Seems like ever since they went to the uh, retractable gears, the gears just ain't been on point. But then again, it's a model, so it is what it is. So with no further ado, I'm going to let you see the whole aerial top view of this aircraft. So here we go. Okay, we're at the uh, bird's eye top view of this aircraft. There's the nose cone. We're going to start there. The cockpit windows, the windshield wipers right there. The anti-collision beacon light here. The Qatar titles, billboard titles on both sides of the aircraft. al Qataria written in Arabic on both sides of the aircraft. The antennas right there. Then you see the Barker flag display here. Then there's the ADF antenna right there on the Barker flag. Then there's the uh, SATCOM box right there. There's two more antennas there. And then right there, little dots right there on the uh, horizontal stabilizer as well on this side here. Those are the lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now we come over to the wings. Emergency wing walkway exit, wing walkway right there. There's the GE 9115B engine featuring the engine strike. The fuel dump valve right there and the rake wing tip featuring the strobe light over here as well. Same thing over here. The emergency wing exit walkway. The GE 9115B engine featuring the engine strike on this side. The fuel dump valve and the rake wing tip over here as well. Okay, now you're looking at the belly view of this aircraft. You see the nose right here, the nose gear, and the nose gear door right there. Then you come right here. You see the Qatar title right there underneath the belly of the fuselage. Then you see the anti collision beacon light right here, right in between the A right there, the hole where the stand goes in at. You see the uh, crest, the FCB crest emblem right there, and also the slogan feature right there. And then there's the. Uh, tail skid right there you know prevent the uh, plane from being damaged that's what that's there for and then the auxiliary power unit doors right there the wings right there okay and then we come to the wings right here they tilt all right then there's the GE 9 115b engines underneath the registration ship number the fuel dump valve right there and the rake wing tip underneath there featuring the strobe light on this side as well okay there's the engines there fuel dump valve and the rake wing tip right there okay okay since I showed you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft and the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft now, I'm going to put it on that wooden stand back there that I showed you earlier. So, here is the model on the stand, folks. 
All right, there it is. That's the model on um, you looking at it from the port side. I got it on the stand. With all the gears, the other gears tilt there, which you see there. Beautiful there. All right. All right, now you're looking at the front angle of this aircraft with the model on the stand, whatever, you, all the gears there in point. The big G90 engines, how it's flexing a little bit there, okay? Now you're looking at this model from the starboard side. See all the little detail, the Barker flag, the emblem, the slogan, the guitar logo, the guitar title right here, the Arabic writing, Al Qataria, and the guitar logo on these big G90 engines as well as well as these bogey gears on here okay so there it is and now you're looking at it from the tail cam angle of this aircraft there you have it right there okay okay before I take this model off the stand I got it in this position for reading because these gear replacements here I'm gonna go ahead and snatch them off right here there these are retractable so there there and here there okay now since I took them off I'm gonna let you see this uh, model from a different angle without the gears all right all right I got this model on the port side without the gears you see it in flight mode now you got two options from this point on you can leave them without the gears that's fine these are the purpose for the gear replace right here to substitute the gears or you can leave them gears down in the gear down mode or land in the takeoff mode. I usually leave mine in the uh, gears down mode. It has more value to the model, okay? And as I mentioned earlier, these are the retractable gears. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears on here and take this model to stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? Okay, now the seating configuration. Qatar Airways has three seated configurated versions for this aircraft. However, on this particular Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER, it seats 335 passengers in a two-class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown, folks. From rows 1 to 7, that'll be from here to here. You have 42 business class seats in rows 10 to 43. That'll be from here all the way to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 293 economy class seats, which brings a total of 335 seats. And finally, Qatar Airways currently utilizes their Boeing 777-300ERs on routes from Doha, Qatar, the airline's hub, to destinations such as, there's a bunch of them folks, Abu Dhabi, Algiers, Amman, Atlanta, Bahrain, Bangalore, Beijing Capital, Berlin Tegel, Cairo, Egypt, Cape Town, South Africa, Chicago O'Hare, Colombo, Diamond, Bangkok, Dallas Fort Worth, Delhi, India, Dimpensar Bali, Dubai, Frankfurt, Ganjao, Hanoi via Bangkok, Houston Bush Intercontinental, Islamabad, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Karachi, Pakistan, Kuwait, Lahore, Ladez, London Heathrow, Johannesburg, South Africa, Manila, Philippines, Melbourne, Australia, Miami, Montreal, Mumbai, India, Munich, Germany, Mandina, Muscat, New York, JFK, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, Puckett, Thailand, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Shiraz, Seoul, Ichion, Shanghai, Pudong, Sydney, Australia, Washington, Dulles, and Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Those are the routes, folks. Well, this is all I have for this mall review. Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments and suggestions. I don't know if you have this model in your collection or you plan on getting this model in your collection. I know Midget AT already did his long ago. He nailed it as usual, as always. Check that uh, channel out. So with that said, take care. God bless. I have more model content coming. Stay tuned, folks.